All right. Just pull the microphone away from you just a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Is that, uh, is that all right? That's fine. Okay. Okay, so uh, as I was mentioned up top, I'm part of a meetup uh, group, Boston uh, Picture Analytics, and meetup is just one piece of a puzzle of a lot of different ways people are part of communities, whether it's professional associations or universities and things like that. So I'm going to talk a little bit about meetup and its origins. It was actually founded by Scott Heiferman back uh, right after 9-11. He's from New York City, and they thought, how can we recapture that feeling that we had after 9-11 of everyone pulling together? And so he went and said, can we use the internet to get off the internet? And so that's kind of the mission. And so in Boston, kind of started off in, in 02, slow, but, but surely it has grown tremendously to now there's 2,600-ish groups in Boston. So it's kind of growing really good. And business and tech, which I'm part of, is about 10% of these groups. So what's cool about Meetup is they've open sourced their data. So you can use an API, and, and anything you see as you browse Meetup, you can get and download it, and it makes for some interesting data analysis. So one thing that you can pull is category information. So there's about 35 different categories on Meetup from careers in business, dancing, food, drink, uh, hobbies, and so forth. And some of them are common across all cities, like every city's movies and things like that. But what I did here is I took a fingerprint of Boston. The biggest groups are tech, business, social, and I did one of San Diego, the number of groups. And you see it's a little bit different fingerprint. And so here with the Delta, you see Boston is a little bit more on technology and books, whereas San Diego is more on healthy. Here is a scatter plot of business and tech with family. Cambridge, very high tech. Up here are their bedroom communities like Brookline, Worcester, and things like that. So kind of an interesting way to cut the data for Meetup. So what's happened locally is some of the groups that are older, like Python, have become so big they've started to, to grow branches. Learning Python, Django, and PyLadies, and things like that, which has been great for the local community. And hopefully that can be the case for every single you know, type of uh, topic. So here I have a, a slide that has the fusion of, of knowledge and items, the old Silk Road, but now with the internet, things move faster. Hacks and Hackers is a journalism group that started, I think, in San Fran, but now is across the whole world. So to me, I thought, let's just open it up and let's look at more uh, places. See, my perception of Russia is right now about dashboard camps and meteors, kangaroos in Sydney, you know, penguins there. So I'm using Meetup as a way to, to kind of like maybe become more culturally aware. So for example, tech. I would have never guessed that Argentina is big on Bitcoins. Berlin has a tech meetup. Columbia, Bogata, has a PHP group and they serve pizza. Pizza is universal. But there's some groups that we might be able to add to Boston, like C++. You know, the common groups in Boston and everywhere. Wine, veg vegetarian. But, but there's no, one, no one in the world has meet meetups. And so I'm thinking we, should, we, can, we can really do that here and have a great one. We can also maybe go for sushi. So I find it interesting, there's some groups like in Paris, they have this one, Paris Full Moon Picnic Group, right? Let's watch the, the full moon over the sea. I'm like, can we do that in Boston? We got the Charles River, Sam Adams, and we can the sunset over MIT buildings. It'd be great, right? <laughs> Health and fitness. Everywhere there's yoga. But this is crazy, I never knew this. Have you ever heard of this? Kangu jumps? They're like the hot thing in some parts of the country, in, in the world. Maybe we can do a Kango group here in Boston. Games, Scrabble, Chess, Dungeons and Dragons, universally popular everywhere around the world. Backgammon, maybe we can do a backgammon. Hong Kong, backgammon. Euchre, have you, anyone here heard of Euchre? Right, it's a card game, very rare. Music and dance, salsa is so popular around the world as is swing. But one thing we lack here in Boston, 80s and 70s music. Maybe we should start groups with that kind of, you know, and also country dancing. So there's an opportunity here to kind of import more culture. Sports and recreation, I was surprised. All the tennis, volleyball, bat, badminton is huge everywhere. It's crazy. But what about roller derby? Or here, gun fun. Does Boston need a gun fun group? <laughs> this is from Hawaii. That surprised me. And, and business. I was surprised, like startup chili. Chile has one of the biggest startup communities in the world, 5,000 people almost in Chile. And here's one, Paris. They have not just networking, they have soirees. We could have soirees. So it's interesting, you take some of the data and you can compare cities and get the fingerprint. Here I'm showing Boston versus New York and Silicon Valley. Boston's a little bit lower on business. So it's kind of like, well, does that mean anything or, or is that fine? So that's what this data can help with. And here's just a couple more slides where, you know, it's been growing, growing. 
And if it keeps growing, you know, what are we going to do and how can we sustain Meetup here locally? So that's kind of a little bit on Meetup and, and maybe there's opportunity for us to, again, look at what's else out around the world and bring some more Meetups to